I mean, agriculture has been facing uh, various issues, but the uh, more obvious and uh, the critical one that we are facing for the time being is the climate change because we see a lot of uh, droughts and a lot of floods in different part parts of the countries, and uh, those are heavily affecting what we do. They are heavily affecting lives of our farmers, and uh, so that's a big issue. The other one is. Uh, investment in agriculture and the inclusion of the private sector in general and uh, that has been an issue but uh, I'm hoping that as uh, we go and people are looking at agriculture in a comprehensive way and uh, looking at it in a value chain way I mean people will find the different niches in which they can fit to uplift uh, the productivity because whatever is done at one component of the value chain can address their below uh, issues. So that's uh, something that we hope that these people are uh, getting more to know agriculture, they will be going uh, away. Another thing is the education I issues because uh, farmers uh, they to adopt new technologies, to adopt new way of doing things. They need information. So the strategic way of doing extension, making sure that everyone is inclusive, that has been an issue. But we invest a lot of money into extension services, and uh, we have uh, developed a homegrown way of doing extension, and uh, we call it the. Uh, uh, Twigire or farmers by farmers extension systems and uh, we see it moving so but still the level of education of our clients and the uh, level of accepting I mean accepting or receiving the technology in a fast way and adapt to it and change along I think that has been also a challenge so I'm um, hopeful that with time with the new generations coming in, things will be moving. There are many countries are adapting or coping with the uh, climate change effects in different ways, but this country have been trying to invest heavily into coping mechanisms such as uh, investing in irrigation, investing in uh, short duration varieties, but also trying to understand our clients, trying to understand them and uh, come up with the solutions that are, they are part of has been helping. I mean, having a gathering like this is uh, all the time beneficial for countries like uh, ours because, I mean, having them in the same room discussing uh, sustainability, discussing agricultural development, discussing achieving SDGs. They bring a, a lot of, uh, they bring a wealth of knowledge. They share knowledge, they share experiences, they discuss what work and what is not working. So it's important to have them and share experiences. But also, most importantly, we are uh, planning ways, I mean, planning on how to implement this uh, sustainable development goals and uh, it's important that people get together and address them in a comprehensive way rather than uh, making uh, piecemeal plans. Yeah.